Hello again. Cobalt DM back for another dynamic scene tutorial using Foundry VTT. Chase scenes can be difficult to show on a static battle map, but with a bit of work and the right module, you can create a scene with a moving background that'll keep your players immersed in the intense action on screen. You can use these techniques for all kinds of moving scenes, but I'll be showing you how to create an Indiana Jones-esque chase in minecarts. A scene like this will require a specialized map that you might not find normally. These maps need to have left and right edges that seamlessly flow into each other. It will also need to be fairly long, to allow for a good amount of variation before the scene repeats. The best way we can create a map that fulfills these objectives is with Dungeon Draft, or any other map making software. Secondly, you'll need to pick up the Parallaxium module in Foundry, as it's what allows us to get the image moving. Let's get started with a map. If you don't want to make your own map, I provide all the battle maps I create for my campaign and video tutorials on my Patreon. With that out of the way, start with the map's dimensions. I made mine 1 to 28 tiles wide and 20 tiles tall. Once it's created, we should start by placing the rails. Go to the path tool, find the rails, and lay them all the way across the scene. If you'd like to have multiple lines, place a few more down. With the rails done, we should lay down the cavern walls. Also in the path tool, you'll see the cliffs icon. Start from the top, and make sure the white part is oriented inwards. Also, you'll want to start away from the left, because it makes it a lot easier to hide the seam when the image repeats itself. Repeat this process for the entire seam, making random curves and openings in the wall every now and then, which gives you space to put down some scenic assets like underground rivers or mushroom patches. With that done, let's paint the scene. Go to the terrain brush and change the top default swatch to swamp, which will represent areas the players won't be seeing. I'll be using rocky and cracked earth to represent the visible scene, but you can use whatever you'd like to fit the location. Now just paint the scene, leaving the area behind the walls the swamp color, and changing everything else to rocky. For my map, I used cracked earth to scatter a touch of sand throughout the cavern. Next, we can finish up by placing some assets on the map that will bring it to life. Scatter some rocks with the scatter tool, place some mushrooms as well, and maybe even create a river crossing using the water tool, and then using the other path tools to construct the bridge itself. Now for the most important part, we need to light this scene so that only the tracks and their surroundings are visible. Start by making the ambient light black, then place a light that doesn't intersect with the left and continue on with the rest of the track. At the other end, also make sure that the right is fully engulfed in darkness. This way, the players won't be able to see the seam at the edge of the image. Now just add some extra lights for areas that you want to show off, such as the mushroom patch or the river. That's basically it. All you need to do now is export it. With your map done, head over to Foundry and create a new scene. Make sure the scene dimensions match the dimensions of your image, which you can see when you export it and by looking in the file's properties. Now just go to the Tiles tab, drag out a new tile that fits the entire scene, and find your image. With the map fitting the entire scene, and Parallaxia installed and activated, right-click the tile and find this waterfall icon. This will activate the parallax effect and give you some options to change it. The most important for us is the X offset per second. At negative 50 it's fairly slow, so change it to a speed you like. I made mine negative 400. Also, don't forget to make the background color black in the scene settings. With the track speeding by, let's place down a minecart. You can find top-down minecart assets on the internet, but you can also find the assets as part of Dungeon Draft if you navigate to its folder, as seen here. I'll link one of these assets in the description since it can be hard to find. Now we'll want to make a new actor, name it whatever you'd like, and change its type to vehicle. This provides a special sheet for vehicle rules, though they can be a bit difficult to utilize. I would just give it an AC and damage threshold that must be passed before its HP reduces. Then, make its prototype token image the asset you'll be using. For the dungeon draft one, change its width to 2 and its scale to 1.3. And there you have it, a minecart chase with the players riding in carts that can be moved with them. If they come to a stop along the way, you can always turn off the Parallaxia effect in the Tiles tab. If you like my content, make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also check out my Patreon if you want the map I made, and if you'd like to just support my work. Thanks for watching.